I'm David from Media Unlocked. And today I've got a pretty exciting tutorial for you, but before we jump into that, uh, some fast updates. Uh, first off, we have part two um, of the Neil Ketcherson audio series. It's going to be coming out Saturday, and it's going to be on the Law of Mic as well. The week after, a week from this Saturday, we're going to be going over the shotgun mic. So I think you guys will really want to tune in for that. It's pretty exciting. So uh, to get those updates, when they do come out, uh, it would be great if you just want to hit that uh, subscribe button so it will pop up in your subscription box when you log into YouTube and you can see the new videos that I've come out with as well. Uh, I know a couple, my last couple videos have kind of been, uh, quality-wise, kind of been messed up. And part of it, the reason why they haven't been fixed is, one, I'm too lazy to take them down and re-edit them. Um, I've been so busy lately. And two, I was making a couple of minor mistakes that got switched over in my Final Cut Pro, but I believe I have it fixed now, so um, the HD should be much better coming forth. Uh, and then third thing is, as you guys just know, I bought a Canon T3i. I'm really excited about it. I really like it. And uh, and a lot of people are kind of uh, I guess bashing on it for as far as it's an, you know it's roughly two hundred two hundred fifty dollars more than the Canon T2i, and is it really worth it? And uh, the main thing that people are focusing on is that it's got the new swivel screen, and that seems to be the only thing that interests people. But I'm gonna go over the um, Canon T3i. I'm gonna do a review on it here within hopefully the next week, and uh, I'll point out a couple of features that I think make it worth the extra money. Because in my opinion, the Canon T3i. Is, uh, is by far better than the Canon T2i. So, but that's coming soon. But back to what we were here today to do. And that is, um, I have just figured out, or I didn't actually figure it out, a guy named Buddy, Buddy Alien is the guy's YouTube channel, and uh, it's going to be up there, uh, right in the corner. Um, check his uh, channel out, pretty cool. He just put up a video and uh, did a video response to one of my videos on how to set up audio with your Canon T2i. So what that means is, as far as setting up audio, um, what I mean by audio, being able to have headphones so you can actually hear the audio. So pretty much I'm able to connect my headphones like this into my Canon T2i and I can monitor the audio right up here in my ears. So it's not just seeing the, uh, the bars with the, with the Magic Lantern hack. By the way, the only way that this is going to work is if you have the Magic Lantern hack. Now a lot of you probably have the, uh, the non-audio the non audio mon uh, uh, update or or hack on your um, on your Canon T2i what you're gonna need is you're gonna need the audio mon hack to make this work now there are a couple I guess downsides to um, to having this hack on your uh, Canon T2i which I'm gonna go through real fast before we kinda jump in jump into it and I can actually show you how it all works um, and there's two main things that I don't like about it the first one is um, you're running your AV cables um, into a a FiO uh, E5 headphone amplifier. Now the problem with that is it disconnects. Now with the new with this hack, what it does is is it actually uh, makes it so when you put when you put the AV port in, your screen on your camera won't go blank, thinking that it's trying to go to like an external monitor or something. Now the problem with that is if you did use a regular USB cable that connects to your um, computer so you can do your all of your um, video so you can monitor your, vi monitor your video um, on your laptop or PC or whatever um, that pretty much uh, that hack, the new the AudioMon hack um, it pretty much takes away you being able to hook it up to a computer um, so that's kind of a, it's kind of a frustrating thing so you can kinda of have you can have audio in your ears or you can have video on your computer but you can't have both um, so, say I wanted to go hook up my USB cable to my laptop. Well, with this hack, it 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 just um, it disconnects that feature, um, being able to go from your camera to your laptop. So that's that's kind of frustrating, and I really don't like that about it. Now, I could totally be wrong. Maybe I'm just missing a function. If someone knows otherwise, where I could be able to switch over from mon, where I could switch over from being able to listen to you know the audio in my ears or be able to monitor it on my laptop please leave me a comment because I'd really like to know uh, how to do that. But from what I can tell, it, uh, it disconnects it and you can't, you can't do that. Now, the second thing I don't like is it seems that if I do try to hook up a USB, because I've tried a couple times, tried a couple different ways to, to, get around this, um, to get around this problem and I can't. So when I do hook up my USB cable to my laptop, it seems to freeze my, um, my camera. Therefore, I have to take the battery out, put the battery back in, and then uh, turn the camera on and off, of course. 
So even if they did have that fixed to where you could switch between uh, headphones, you know, listening to the audio and, and watching the video, um, it seems to be freezing it up. So those are the downsides. The, the upside is that if you want to be able to monitor your audio, this hack works amazingly. And on top of that, the audio um, with this little amplifier, the uh, FIO E5, um, it's pretty amazing. Like, it really is amazing how, cl how clear the audio comes through into your uh, headphones. So, um, what we're going to do now is I'm going to set everything up and I'm going to kind of uh, real fast kind of walk you through how to connect everything and all the pieces you're going to need. Of course, uh, down low in my hands bar or links bar, however you want to look at it, um, I will have a link to the updated firmware that you're going to need um, for your Canon T2i if you want to be able to do this. Um, you're, I'm also going to put down there uh, links to each one of the items that you're going to need to buy. And uh, I'll link those right onto uh, eBay or Amazon or wherever. Um, I'll, there'll be a link so you can go purchase everything you need to put this together. Okay guys, so there's not a lot of parts that you're going to really need to, uh, to set this up so you, have, uh, so you can monitor your audio via headphones. Uh, again, the first thing that you're going to need, which is the most important thing, is you're going to need the Audiomon firmware hack for Magic Lantern. If you don't have that and you've got the non-Audiomon, then it's not going to work. I found that out firsthand for two days to try to make this work and didn't realize that I had to get a special firmware hack for this. So I wanted to you know, alliterate that. Of course, that will be the first link to download that hack. And, uh, and it gives you all the other stuff that the other hacks give you. It just allows you, it just, you know, makes it to where your, U your USB or AV connection um, does not, you know, does not go to like your laptop, but it will work with, um, with setting up these headphones. So, uh, so the first thing that, that after you've got the uh, firmware installed is uh, here th is you're going to need to get your AV cables that, you get, that came with your camera. You're going to need to get yourself a RCA to 1 8 inch connector. Again, every, everything like the, the connector here. And uh, we're going to have to get ourselves an amplifier, uh, FIO E5. This is about $20. It's probably the most expensive item you're going to need. So this is about a $25 uh, setup. It also, this thing runs on batteries that charges. So you just hook it up USB right there and it will, uh, it will charge for you, so make sure you keep that thing charged. You don't want it dying on you and not being able to monitor the audio. Uh, you need a pair of headphones and, uh, and a Canon T2i. Now, uh, just to let you know, all this stuff down here, um, like this RCA um, to 1 8 inch and this FIO E5 uh, piece right here, amplifier, um, I will be leaving links down below where you can buy it, uh, probably Amazon or I'll be linking it to eBay. And so if you want to put it all together, you can just look at my description bar down below and you'll be able to put all these pieces together. So to set it up, um, what we're going to do is we're going to make sure, we're going to hook this into the camera, but make sure you first turn on the camera. So we're going to turn the camera on. All right, and then we're going to hook this into the camera. Now, it's not going to work right if you hook it up before you turn the camera on, so make sure you turn the camera on before you hook up these AV cables. Um, second, we're going to hook these together. So, And third, we're going to put it into where it says input. There we go. We're going to turn this on. Let's hold that down. And you just notice that the light comes on. Uh, now you have audio meters here, um, so if you want to turn your audio up or down, you can do that. And third, last but not least, is going to be your your headphones. Now these are pretty loud. Um, I kept the, the volume pretty low because these are very loud. Um, so what I'm going to do is, now I'm going to set this up to internal mic. Um, there's the internal mic. So um, technically... Woohoo! Okay, so we're getting that. I don't know if you're actually able to hear me yell through these headphones. These things are pretty loud, though. Um, hold on one second. Woohoo! Woohoo! No, it's not going to be loud enough. Um, but yeah, so once all this is hooked up, as you can see, um, it's all it's all good to go. Now, something that I did earlier, I don't know if you noticed, but I have little like keychain rings here. So what I did is I actually. Before I hooked up these, I ran, I ran all of this 
And this is a way to, to help with like your wires because it's going to get all over the place, all these extra wires connected. So what I did is I ran this through here, if you notice. So, um, and then I hooked these up. Actually, you could probably run all of these, maybe not. You should be able to run all of these through. All right, so once you've got all of these run through, what you're going to do is you're going to hook this up into its input. Now, these, this has a clip on the back, if you notice. So what I'm able to do is I just clip this. So, like, yay. So it just kind of hangs on the side. And then you can hook up your headphones. And then you're able to monitor your audio from there. So when you're shooting, it's like right there. Now that may get in the way for some people, but me, that, that works so that I don't have all this extra stuff hanging out over in this general area. I'm David with Media Unlocked, and I hope this tutorial helped you out. Also, just to let you know, again, uh, my Skype is David D Images. Feel free to contact me anytime. I know I haven't been around that much lately, and I apologize. I'm going to try to do a lot better. Um, I since downloaded Skype onto my phone, so I'm trying to leave Skype on on my phone as much as possible. So please feel free to send me a message, and now that I have it downloaded on my phone, I will try to answer you um, as much as I possibly can. 